Hi, I'm Josh, and today I'm going to show you how to make my homemade madras curry powder and my madras which can be made from scratch in under 20 minutes. To begin, let's make the madras powder. On a very low flame, toast the coriander seeds, cumin seeds, mustard seed, fenugreek seeds, whole black peppercorns, fennel seeds, cloves, and cinnamon stick until fragrant, stirring gently to ensure they don't burn. When ready, turn off the heat and tip onto a plate and allow to cool. Tip the cool hard spices into a blender and blend until you get a fine powder. Now add in the turmeric powder, chilli powder, Kashmiri chilli powder and salt. And grind again to mix into a fine powder. Store in an airtight container for use when you want to make my 20 minute madras. Ok, let's go on to the main event. Heat a pan on a high heat, add the oil and when hot, add in the curry leaves. The oil should be hot enough that they sizzle instantly. Turn the heat down to low medium and add the onions. Stir frequently, frying until lightly golden. Add the garlic and ginger paste along with the tomato puree. Stir through and fry until the bitter smell disappears. This normally takes a couple of minutes. Add around a third of the boiling water and combine well so the spices don't stick. Then add two to four tablespoons of the madras masala mix depending on your heat tolerance. As I'm using my pre-cooked naga chicken tikka in this dish, I'm going to add all four now. Stir through and allow to fry until the oil begins to separate. Add another third of the water and if using raw meat, add it now. Stir and allow to fry for a couple of minutes in the masalas to seal. It's fine to add a little water at any time. Turn the heat up to high, add the remaining water and combine well, allowing to reduce for around 5-10 to 10 minutes, stirring occasionally. When a sauce is the consistency you require, add in the chilies, lemon juice, Worcestershire sauce, and pre-cooked chicken if using. Stir to combine. Serve with a sprinkle of coriander and a slice of lemon. Please remember to like and subscribe and check out this and many more recipes on my website at thecurrykid.co.uk.